Tired of being let down by your webcam's mediocre video quality? We've all been there, dealing with grainy images, poor low light performance, or choppy video that makes you look unprofessional. If you're serious about upgrading to a 4K webcam, the Emit Nova and Logitech Brio are likely on your radar. But which one will truly resolve your pain points and offer the desired quality you need? In this video, we'll break down the features, performance, and value of these two leading 4K webcams to help you make the best choice for your needs. First things first, let's talk about what we got in the box. The Nova presents a straightforward package that includes the essentials. Inside the box, we found the Nova webcam itself, a USB Type-A cable for connectivity, a privacy cover for those who value their security, and a user manual. Pretty standard stuff, but we appreciated the inclusion of the privacy cover. On the Logitech side, we unboxed the Brio to find the webcam, a USB Type-C cable, a plastic casing that doubles as a protector, and the obligatory user manual. Now let's talk about looks and feel. The Nova caught our eye with its sleek, modern design. The matte black finish gives it a professional look without drawing too much attention. We found the build quality to be strong, no flimsy plastic here. The camera felt sturdy in our hands, which inspires confidence in its longevity. The Brio, true to the brand's reputation, also boasted a premium feel. It's got a more traditional webcam look, but that's not a bad thing. The build quality was on par with the Nova, though we found the Brio to be slightly bulkier. Setting up the Nova was easy. We plugged it in, and our computer recognized it faster than you can say cheese. The plug-and-play nature meant we were up and running in no time, without having to fiddle with drivers or complex settings. The Logitech Brio setup was similarly straightforward, though we did notice it took a little bit longer for our system to recognize it. Not a deal-breaker by any means, but worth noting if you're the impatient type. Now, let's get to the meat and potatoes. How do these cameras actually perform? We put them through their paces in various lighting conditions and scenarios. The Nova truly shined in this department. The 4K resolution was crisp and clear. What really impressed us was the Nova's performance in low-light conditions. It managed to capture detail without making the image grainy, a common pitfall for many webcams. The Nova's autofocus was quick and accurate, which kept us in focus even when we moved around. The field of view was wide enough to capture our entire workspace without making us feel like we were sitting miles away from the camera. The Brio held its own by producing sharp 4K images that didn't disappoint. However, we found its low light performance to be slightly less impressive than the Nova's. And sometimes the autofocus takes a couple of seconds to identify the object. Don't get us wrong, it's still good, just not quite at the same level. Both cameras come with their own software, and this is where we saw some significant differences. The Nova's software was intuitive and user-friendly. We could easily adjust settings like brightness, contrast, and saturation. The software also included some nifty features like AI-powered framing, which kept us centered in the shot even when we moved around. We found ourselves using these features more often than we expected. But one major drawback is that we couldn't zoom in or zoom out as there is no option available in their software. Logitech's software for the Brio, while comprehensive, felt a bit overwhelming at first. It offers plenty of customization options, which is great for tech-savvy users. That said, once we got the hang of it, we appreciated the level of control it offered. After putting both webcams through their paces, we've got to give the edge to the Amit Nova. The Logitech Brio is also a great piece of kit, and if you're already invested in the Logitech ecosystem, you won't be disappointed. Despite that, the Nova's superior low-light performance, user-friendly software, and overall value proposition make it our top pick. It strikes that sweet spot between high-end features and accessibility, which makes it suitable for everyone, from casual Zoomers to content creators. The Brio is by no means a weak point, but when we factor in the price, the scales tip in favor of the E-Meet Nova. So there you have it. Whether you go with the Nova or the Brio, you're in for a treat. Thanks for watching our video. Like, share, and subscribe to get more videos like this.